hey guys in this video we're going to talk about the binance peer-to-peer -peer feature peer-to-peer -peer, popularly known as p2p is a feature that allows users to trade cryptos for fiat or fiat for crypto that um directly to their peers without using or uh, without needing to buy from binance so this feature is very useful for countries that don't have um bank or card payments um approved card payments or card withdrawal approved in their countries countries like nigeria where we don't have um that approved for now because it has been um banned by the federal government we use the pay to pay feature so if you have or if you are facing similar issues or you are from a country that don't have p2p that don't have bank um deposit or withdrawal um this video will help you a lot because i'm going to show you everything you need to know about pay to pay and how to have a successful trade using pay to pay feature so um don't forget to like this video subscribe while i show you how to do everything you need to know about binance pay to pay so um the first thing you have to do is make sure you have registered with binance so if you have registered already um click on login but if you have not registered check the video description there is a link to register there to binance so once you click on login you brought to this interface um, i'm going to log in using the mobile app it makes it easier and faster for me to log in than putting on um, my login details okay so i just have to scan the qr code on the screen and to automatically log me in so as you can see it scans, scans successfully all i have to do now is just to refresh the page and i'll be logged in so okay i've logged in now and the next thing i have to do is um okay wait for the screen to load completely and after loading um i need to click on wallet so um after it loads click on wallets and then scroll down to p2p yeah that then click on it don't forget p2p stands means pay to pay is an acronym for pay to pay so i'm going to give it some seconds to load again um load up load up okay so after loading up um here it will show you your wallet balance and then what you have to do is um see your so right now my p2p balance is zero and then here it can show me the list of coins i can trade on p2p so i can trade usdt btc busd bnb eth dai there are lots of coins but not as much as um the normal coins. i think they are limited to either 10 or 15 coins i can trade to pay to pay so the next thing you have to do is to click on the button that says um p2p trading so i'll click on it and then this is where to take me to this is where um the main trading is here you can meet buyers and sellers it's like a global market it's like the black market trading of binance um so here it's uh, showing cyn which is um the chinese yen i guess yes i'm sure it's the chinese yen but i'm trading in naira i'm nigerian so i don't need to trade with the chinese yen so um here you can trade usdt btc busd bnb eth and dai okay so yes i can buy any of these coins but for now i want to buy usdt but also i'm buying usdt but i want to pay in my local currency which is the naira so what i'll do first is to change the currency so i have to change it to the naira so i have to search for naira okay ngn that's my currency that's the nigerian naira so after clicking on it you give some seconds to refresh the data and um load up load up sorry about my internet it's quite slow okay so it has loaded and then um on the screen you'll be giving a prompt asking you uh, tel telling you that um, p2p there might be this and that and that so you can read through it and um click on confirm if it's the first time using p2p i recommend you read through it so right now um this is the pair to pair screen for my local currency nigeria um this is where you can meet buyers um you can buy your coin from directly from them or you can sell the coin the next thing i'm going to do is um put the amount the first thing you have to do is put the amount you want to buy amount worth of coin so let's say i want to buy for the sake of this video i'll be buying um fifty thousand naira worth of coin so let's say i want to buy fifty thousand naira worth of coin after putting the 50,000 Naira, I have to select payment again. So there are different modes of payments. Choose the most suitable for you, depending on your country. So the most suitable for me is bank transfer. So I'll click on bank transfer. And then it's 
update the data again to show me um, P2P agents or uh, customers willing to sell um, to customers that accept um, payments via bank account. So, okay, as you can see now, um, the first customer has has had 114 orders with a 95% completion rate, which is the highest completion rate in everybody selling there, I think. So, okay, he has had 114 orders and completed 95% of them. Here you can see his name, Leadway Crypto. Here the price will show you the price is selling one USDT for. So, he's selling one USDT for 497 Naira, which um, is quite high is slightly higher than the official price then he currently has 254 usdt available and the minimum he wants to sell is 126,000. um so he wants to sell between 126,000 to 126,000. so um this is very important anybody is selling the minimum 126,000, you cannot buy it if your budget is 50,000. that is why i always set up my um, price how much I'm willing to pay so you have to click on the 5,000 error and click on search this is where it will refresh it and then show you people willing to sell within that your 5,000 error range so I've refreshed it and then um, I have new sellers here so um, the top guy which is Victor Coit okay he has he has placed um so P2P gives you the best price from the lowest sorry from the highest being the best price to the lowest being the worst price that's the cheapest so as you can observe the screen um uh, victor is selling he has placed he has made 190 1950 orders and he's selling the coin for 497 naira. so um um the 5000 naira i want to buy for is within his limits because he wants to sell from the minimum of 5000 naira to the maximum of 258 000 so as you can see his is cheaper compared to others he's selling at 497.36 while others are selling at 497.44 and rest so once you find the perfect buyer click on buy usdt so you'll be brought to the screen where you have to complete the order so first uh, you have to put the amount you want to pay again so i want to pay fifty thousand naira worth of i want to buy fifty thousand naira worth of his coin so fifty thousand naira will give me 100.53 usdt um okay so and i can pay via bank transfer so and um time for payment so i have to make the payment within 15 minutes or else um the order will be cancelled and then i will lose that on the deal so i have to be time conscious so after confirming everything this is what i want to do i click on buy usdt and then um because i spent more time trying to explain the video the ad the ad has been updated so what i have to do now is to refresh the screen to get the latest update on the ad so while buying p2p you have to be fast so i've refreshed it and then um i've gotten more details so i'm paying fifty thousand euro for 497 usdt and then i'm getting 101 100 usdt so here you can get the phone number of the seller um you can chat with the seller and here you can get you see a prompt from um binance telling you not to pay not to confirm that you receive payment if you've not at the bottom you see more information like the buyer's name his account number and the bank you have to make the payment to and also the time limit you have to make the payment so i have within 14 minutes if you are not comfortable with the order you can cancel the order but if you have made the payment you can click on transfer next once you've made the payment, you cannot cancel an order again. So make sure you make the payment first. And then it also has a chat feature where you can chat with the client, um, with the seller, talk to him, and then maybe tell him you've made the payment and stuff. So what you have to do right now is to make payments to the client's account number. So um, I'll make payment with my phone right now. And then, so this is off screen. You guys will not be able to see it. But after making the payment, um, I've made the payment now and then I've next now click is transferred next so i have 12 more minutes to complete the deal so after making the payment i've click on transfer and then i'll be prompted to confirm that i've really made the payment i'll click on yes i've made the payment and then it's up to um victor now binance will send a prompt to him letting him know that i've made the payment so i can also remind him here using the chat that i've made the payment so it's left to him to check his um banking app or whatever platform he uses for his banking 
to check if the payment has been sent successfully after that um he has to release the payment so this has to be done within um 15 minutes and if it's not completed within that 15 minutes i can appeal to binance and tell them that i have made the payments but have not received the order which during this period um if binance confirmed that i have made the payments via screenshot please always make take screenshot of your payments once making the payment via pay to pay take a screenshot because you can use it to appeal later so i have 14 more minutes to wait for him within that 14 minutes if i don't get my payment i can um i can um complete to binance so as you can see the order has been completed he has made the payment that's how fast p2p is that's how easy it is he has made the payment um so the next thing i can do now is to check my account so when he makes the payment binance sends you an email a notification an sms notification and then an in-app notification so you receive three notifications so as you can see now i have um usdt in my pay to pay account i have 100 usdt uh which is okay total assets is 100 usdt which is around um 46,000 naira. although i paid 50,000 naira, but p2p is a black market so it's usually higher so the next thing you have to do now is to transfer your usdt from your p2p wallet to your sports wallet p2p wallet you cannot trade with it so you have to transfer from your p2p to your sports wallet so make sure p2p is selected and then sports wallet is selected next because you're transferring from p2p to sports wallet so uh, but if you want to transfer from sports to p2p you have to click on that middle button then it changes the opposite way so the more if you click it it goes the opposite direction so but right now i want to transfer from p2p to sports so you can select the currency you want to transfer i only have um usdt and then the amount you want to put so you can manually type the amount you want to put or you just click on the max button and then it transfers everything you have so after clicking on um, the max button the next thing you have to do is to confirm the transfer so click on confirm transfer and then give it some seconds and to show you a prompt saying transfer succeeded so um the next thing you can do is either go to trade or back to the binance um p2p page so it all depends on you what you want to do next but let's say i want to trade i'll click on go to trade and then um, it brings you here to um the binance p2p again so what you have to do now is click on wallets and then click on spot of spot slash um, fire or you can click on trade to start trading here uh, so if you click on the wallet click on fire and spot it will take you to um the basic trading which is the fire trading and then it will show you an update so right now i have 49,000 naira naira worth of crypto in my wallet so if i scroll down it will show you um the uh, the, the specific crypto you will have so right now i have 46,000 naira naira worth of usdt and then 2,000 naira naira worth of trx and around 300 naira or 400 naira naira worth of bnb which is binance token okay so um these are the coins available for me to trade with so if i want to trade with the usdt all i have to do is click on trade so it will show you all the your tradable um pairs the market pairs i can trade usdt with not all but some of them so uh, okay let me click on the usdt then to give you more information about it on coin market cap but let's say i want to this is the easiest form of conversion the easiest the basic form of trading which is just converting one coin for another so right now i want to convert usdt for btc or any other coin let's say um usdt for btc bnb or whatever so right now i want to you can manually type in here or as usual click on max to um, transfer all your usdt so i want to transfer usdt for bnb which is the binance token after clicking on max click on preview conversion and it will show you it will do a quick conversion for you showing you how many so make sure you click on the convert before it reaches zero, zero or else you have to refresh it again so once it starts yes you have to convert before it reaches zero once you click on convert you get 0 0.1 something something bnb and then it will show you successful so um that's how to use the p2p and then convert your coin so right now i've converted my coin from usdt to bnb this is the most this is just the basic the basic trading this is the most basic trading like trading for beginners if you don't know um confuse yourself it's just to buy the coin from binance p2p and then um 
come over here and convert it from either usdt to any other coin you want to convert it to um there are other um in-depth or should i say more professional methods of training trading but um at the cost of this video this is just the beginning the introductory part of this video so we're just giving you the basic the basic part because you have to get the basic knowledge before going into the advanced knowledge so this is the basic way of um trading with binance knowing how to use the p2p um, feature then transferring from your p2p to your sports wallet and then converting a coin from your sports wallet to um from converting a coin from usdt or bnb or from bnb to usdt so this is just the basic um i hope you enjoyed the video please if you do like the video if you have questions ask me questions in the comment section i'm always here to um assist you guys with the comments so ask me a question in the comment section interact with me and i'll always reply to your comment thanks for watching and um have a great day